the game begins. Perfect. Fantastic. All right. Let's play some Pikmin. Ah, uh, no one asked. Well, all right, fine. Then I guess I guess I won't talk about my day then. Who cares? What does it matter? I'm just here to play a video game. And you're here to live vicariously through me playing said video game. That's all this is. Alright. So. Plan the day. We're going right to the Celestial City. Going right to the Celestial City. But first I have to start with Pikmin. It said, bring everything. So I'm going to bring everything. Okay. Let me see. What's the best split for this? So... 15 yellows I think is fine. Um, let's do 15 reds for now. Ten white. And... 20 purple. And then 40 blue. Alright. The squadron has assembled. Okay. Let's head to the city. Right now. Feel so alive. Do not recite backwards in your mirror or else. Anyway, uh... No, so we went out, did a... Uh, I just remember where I'm going. Okay, it's right there. Uh, hit chest today. I did back yesterday. The back was pretty okay. But I went to do a deadlift, and I was like, I, my caps are not going to let me do that, so it's not going to happen. But uh, today was chest, and I'm still exhausted. I'm still exhausted from the previous day. So we did bench, and my bench went up to 40. 40 on each side. That was great. And then everything after that was just a decay. An unfortunate decay. Which really sucks, because, like, the stuff I was doing a week ago I could do, and then I couldn't do it anymore. And I was like, oh. But I get that some days are better than others. And also, I did do... I did do a day that went, like, well... Or I, I went up in weight, so I'm not too surprised that it kind of... Oh, uh, you're in a bad spot. You're in a bad spot. You need to... Okay. This should kill him. Okay. So yeah, I, I did go up. But everything after that was not that great. But like I said, because I went up on the most important one, I, w I wasn't too uh, broken up by that. Run, boys. Run, boys. Smooth as butter, baby. Smooth as butter. Alright, good stuff. All right, what's the, what's the game of today? Ten Pikmin again? An outrageous number, by the way. Cube of aviation. Oh, nice. I don't I don't even have to go over on that side of the map. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Top tier game. Hmm. Twenty this time. That's a lot more fair. All right. So yeah, I did, uh, I did everything, and like I said, pretty much everything did a little less than what I've, I've uh, PB'd on, except for bench, but I'm kind of okay with that. I hear a groink. I see a groink. <laughs> what? Holy shit! <laughs> Everything. Oh, nice camera. 
He's right next to the base, which is great. Oh, he got me. That's fine. Chip damage. No cap bomb bombs. Yeah! But anyway, chat, I watched, uh... I watched a video on, like, creepy Easter eggs. Or creepy stuff in, like, family-friendly games. And some of those were definitely better than others. But some of them were kind of, like, fascinating. Like the weird hell level in Lemmings. Don't run off the cliff now. And the Game Boy camera. That one... That one I thought was really interesting. Because... That one wasn't meant to be malicious or anything like that. It was just, like, goofy. But because of the image quality combined with the text that's like, what are you running from? It's kind of scary. Like, straight up, it's just kind of scary. Like, you can't... That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a foreboding thing to say. What are you running from? And then you're showing this fucking, like, spooky... Not even spooky, but it's just, it just doesn't look right. Well, I might as well take advantage of this guy. Are you kidding me? How did you even miss that? What? <laughs> Alright. Uh, this can be avoided. It depends on the pathfinding they take, though. Let me see. But he didn't play PCB. That was a that was a YouTube poop that was made. <laughs> that was a YouTube poop. I I did look over immediately when I heard the PCB menu theme though. I was like, what? And it was immediately I solved the issue. Or I, I saw what it was. Yeah, it was just a YouTube poop. He didn't actually play it. He's played to who? That's fine. Ow. The little guys are actually... They can bite. I'm gonna try... I'm trying to blow this big one up. He's got the treasure in him. Ah, fuck. Alright, come here. Since I goofed it. Ah, well. Half damage is fine. Gwank's dead. Worried a little bit about the beetle. But I don't know if I have to worry yet. Depends on the path finding they take. If they go right through him, then you have to kill him. If they don't, well, no point. These guys are a lot easier to navigate around. Okay. Let's go get the Pikmin. <clears throat> Alright, come along, team. Come along. Yeah, another one I saw in there was uh, with Yokai Watch and how there's like a tunnel you can go into. And it's just like kind of weird. There's like a lot of weird shit in the tunnel that you just you just walk by. And like in the third game, it's just like a grass maze. So then and like at, at some point in the grass maze, you just come across all the characters clapping like Evangelion. Alright. Alrighty, well. Whatever gets the job done, I suppose. Now, where is this at? Don't drop a bomb. They got it. Oh, it's the tape. Classic. There you go. Bring it up. Now, the real test. Now, if they take the path that I used to get over here, we're fine. If they don't, then I have to, I have to kill everything. Please do not go the shorter route. Alright, well. Great. 
It's time to get frisky. Okay. I don't know much of anything about Yokai Watch. But, yeah, that's kind of neat. Because it's like, you know, these are like rated E for everyone games, so they can't be much of anything, but they still manage to be quite spooky. Yeah, fire your rock, bitch. You gonna look at me? There you go. Number two. Come on. This is so slow. Oh my lord, dude. Look at me! Whatever. Whatever. Alright, okay. There's one left. Come here. Come here, please. Come here. What if the boulder hit the bug? That'd be kind of insane. I'm not really worried about him. Oh, I hit him. Oh shit, he can't hit him! Please let me go. Yo, the boulder can hit the bug. Get your ass. Yeah! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I've never, never in my life have I ever killed a bug like that. Holy shit. I thought Yokai Watch was popular. To be honest with you, I, I, I legitimately thought it was like popular. I got like three fucking games and it translated over to Switch. What happened? People were all talking about it. Like, I, I never had any interest in it. People were definitely talking about it. Fucking, where are you? Yeah, I remember it having an anime, but I guess what was it? What was it called? No, Keitaro or whatever. Like that was a that got a revitalization for like the fifth time. That one, I know that one slightly. That's like an episodic yokai focused uh, series. I remember it because the guy, Kitaro, he's like, uh, he's got like one eye, he's got uncle eyeball, and uh, there's a cat girl whose name is uh, quite literally cat girl, and she's got long legs, and that's about all I remember. <laughs> that's about all I remember. I didn't watch very much of it, because it, I, I watched like a couple episodes, and I was like, oh, what, okay, maybe it's neat, because you know, yokai, uh, toho, uh, correlation. But then it never stopped, and I was just like, okay, I don't want to watch it again. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, the game just kind of like, it was 3DS hit, and then it just... Ooh, I guess it just stopped being uh, relevant. Okay. How do I go about this?
I... What? Hmm. What? 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 What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Like hovering, dude. That hurts you? I had no idea. I don't care. All right, bring him over. That's not yours. You can take the other one. Buddy, take it. And I'll take it right back. I called the Pikmin off it. That was certainly strange, though. Come here, boys. It's dangerous over there. treasure here and a lot of whatever bugs hmm. that spider doesn't care absolutely not <laughs> now that's what purple pikmin are for right there hmm okay Anxious spear. So, is Yokai Watch still popular in Japan? Or is it kind of like, uh. Has it, has it kind of run its course? I don't want to say like Digimon, but D Digimon was also another one of those hot competitors to Pokemon, and then Digimon kind of didn't know what it was doing. And it, it, nowadays it's found its own identity. It's definitely not the Pokemon killer it used to be, but it's still like, it's still there. It's still around. It's got its own thing. It's dying. With the Japanese mobile game going strongly. Man, that's depressing. Your legacy is a mobile game. That's just sad. That hurts, man. I hate that information. I wish I never got it. All right. All right, well that went better than I thought it would. Kind of worried that something bad was gonna happen in there. There you go. Fire is only an issue right now because it's permanent. <clears throat> I didn't even know there was a fourth game. Chat, do you remember Fossil Fighters? Did anyone of you actually play that? Because I remember advertisements for that game. But that was like an early DS game before I had a DS. So by the time I had a DS Lite, that game was kind of like... You weren't really finding that game on Walmart shelves, because I wasn't looking for games outside of the Walmart shelf. I'm going further in. Oh, there's a... Uh, for the Dream Ball? I think it is. Uh, I, something tells me this guy's gonna be an issue, so let's get him killed. Just in case he stabs me through the wall or some shit. I don't know, it was like, because I remember specifically, like, you, you could excavate for fossils, 
And then when I played Pearl and I went underground, I was like, huh, wait a minute, this is like the same thing. But I don't know which one came first. But it's not like it's a revolutionary idea or anything like that. But I, I noticed the similarity in that regard for the underground in Gen 4. I was interested in it, but again, I just it, it came out early and I didn't have the system. Hmm. 300. Dreamy capsule. Chat, do you know the game? Okay, this is a weird game, and I know Christian had it on Game Boy Advance. I forget what it's called, but it was a game where you basically, like, make creatures to fight, and you, you do it by combining batteries. And you can have, like, four party members, and a bunch of the- like, if your combination was basically shit, you got gear, which is just a terrible, terrible creature. Like, it sucked. It was ass cheeks. Because, like, you could combine any battery you wanted, but there was no guarantee the battery you combined was good. Why is he up there? And then if, the, if you got a bad combo, you just got, like, a gear. It wasn't Digimon. I don't remember what it's called, but Christian owns the game. Probably gonna die before that's a problem. That's white Pikmin here. There you go. You got all ten of them up here. Why do I start throwing blue Pikmin? Right. Robopon, yeah! Yeah, 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 that was it. I don't think Christian ever beat it, but I remember that game. And I remember, like, because. You can get a... Uh, like, the game kind of gives you two batteries, and it's like, hey, make your starter asshole, and your starter's actually pretty good. But then there are other batteries you can find that you can have, like, different starters. But then also your, like, party is just some gears, because fuck you. That's the game with magnets, too. Oh, really now? <laughs> well, how about that? I don't remember anything about this game at all. I really don't. Just that it was it was a game that existed. And like it was neat. I don't remember it being bad. Hmm. Maybe the issue with Yokai Watch was just that it preserved too much culture. And as you know, as a typical North American, I could not give less of a fuck about any culture outside of my own. So I see the little ghost man, and they're like, that's a yokai, and my my small, small North American IQ goes, what the fuck's yokai? I'm watching this shit. So, I, you know, I could, we could blame it on that. I mean, that's, that's probably a part of it, because it's all yokai and stuff, right? Like, what the fuck's a yokai? I don't know. You mean a ghost? You mean a demon? No, I don't mean a fucking demon. What the hell is going on in that room? Brother. Oh. Okay. This is fine. I just have to kill. This is fine. Legitimately, this is fine. Just need to put him in a better spot. Nope. Yeah, get running. One dead. Okay. I'm aware of uh, the Mario Maker level situation, yeah. There's one level left in Mario Maker 1 that hasn't been beaten. And the people who have been at that shit have been at it for a while now. Some of them are getting close. I think, uh... I think Little Curbs is the closest. He's, uh... He's, he's technically beaten the level at this point in time. Like, he's technically beaten the level with, with practice, but now he has to do the whole level. Alright, come here, bitch. 
Just stay right there. All right, let's get this boss taken care of. Hmm. I need Machio. I need my blue Pikmin. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Away and they all ran into it. Ah, oh, don't turn that direction. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why does the camera have to freak the fuck out? Consuming, but not difficult. And the spider is fucked up as well. Very good. Hmm. Okay. The level itself is really fast. It's just really hard. But yeah, once they... Once they complete that level, they have uh, completed every level. Um, every level in Mario Maker One will be completed because the server shut down early April. So that means you, there is no longer you can no longer play levels that uh, you don't have saved. Sparkling Stone. So they're gonna beat every level. Now you know what that means, right? It means come April we're gonna get. The next entry in the Mario Maker series. Mario Maker 3, baby. It's on the way. Mario Maker 3, Mario Kart 9, Super Smash Brothers Super Super Ultimate. These are three amazingly hit Switch 2 games that will be coming out. These this is important. These are these are these are important to note. These are like actual real games that would sell the system. Because unlike Sony... Oh no, he went for a cheap shot. Unlike Sony, they they tend to release... Uh, they tend to release their game with... Their systems with games that people want to play. Meanwhile, Sony's just like, Hey, can we put Final Fantasy VII on this thing? Sure. Still not buying it. Still not buying the system. That system is old. It's got like 12 exclusive games. I don't need Boldman. I'm looking for a doodle bug. You know what? This guy's actually kind of helpful, though. Get his ass. Okay. I don't want to throw someone in that. These nuclear potions, I actually ended up using them for the claw dude. Wish I had more. I, I regret a little bit. That's fine. Look we'll at that. You act like you act like the games I just listed are unrealistic. Now that that is ignorance on your part. 
Let, uh, there has been a Smash Brothers title on every main uh, N Nintendo console. Same with uh, same with uh, Mario Kart. And Mario Maker is one of their best-selling games. It was so good, they actually made Mario Maker 2. You really don't think they're going to make Mario Maker 3? With Mario Wonder mechanics in there? You, re you, really, you really don't think they will? These are all, like, easy games to put on this new system. And then you can sell a bajillion copies. I actually wonder what's gonna happen with Smash as a series. Ooh, pretty. Rainbowy. Because Smash as a series right now, like, it's got everyone in it. So what happens? What happens next? You can't just have everyone and plus more, right? Is that is that possible? Like, I imagine there's some serious licensing issues that come from constantly bringing characters into the game. chance is extremely low it seems okay I wouldn't mind a smaller scale smash game I, I don't think I would my days of competitive smash are pretty much non-existent I still watch it though uh what What happened? Who died? It wasn't a purple Pikmin. It wasn't a white Pikmin. It was a blue Pikmin. Alright, that's fine. Still watch Melee. Yeah, I watch Melee too. Melees can be pretty exciting when it wants to be. Uh, Smash Ultimate, depending on the character in front of me, it will pretty much completely dictate whether or not I enjoy it. And, spoiler alert, I dislike... Oh boy. Uh, that's ch Please hold on. <laughs> Please hold on. Uh, thank you, Twisted, for the 50 gifted, but you said you were not an oiler, so... Please be careful with your money. What am I gonna do with all that? I know where it's gonna go, though. Thank you for the 50 pack, though, man. Seriously. I'm being funded. Personally funded. Alright, get over the edge, dumbass. Ta da! It's like magic, Joel. Don't fall now. I, I'm just gonna assume you won the lottery, or inheritance, or you're actually an oiler. That's what I'm going to assume, because <laughs> no other assumption works. Yeah, boys. I could get a new controller with that. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could. <clears throat> See, it's, it's funny. Comet Star. Because so many chat members, whenever I say, damn, I could sure use two dollars, they look at me like I just asked them, like, I just asked them to, like, rob a bank. Alright, this guy's position is really bad. He needs to move a little bit over here. Come here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. bad spot, but I think I can get him. Oh, shit. Alright, we're good. 
candy. There you go. Work every day. Having a day off since mid-January. Well, be sure to take a vacation when the weather gets better. Five-pointed pallet. Man, chat, I can sure use two dollars. Go fuck yourself, streamer. <laughs> that's 99% of you. Alright. I think that's the rainbow star power up from Mario Galaxy. I think it is. Seriously though, man, I appreciate it. But like I said, don't don't break your bank from my back. Uh you can't okay, that's uh I don't have anything that I can uh give you for this, just so you know. Oh, no, this is certainly a layout. Chat, I don't have any sub-incentives. That's not two dollars. Pretty sure that's a significantly large amount of two dollars. <laughs> okay. Get yourself something nice. Forget about me. What is that? Is that a giant bread bug? Oh, this layout kind of nasty, though. Ugh. I'll deal. I'll deal. Okay. Add Fumo Snail, die. How's that sound? Toxic streamer. I'm surprised they didn't die, to be honest with you. Go ahead, get in the suck. You'll die anyway. Camera. What an unfortunate spot to find ourselves in. Don't fall off the pit. This is the fun part. <laughs> yeah, come here, take it. That's mine, kid. Mine. Five dollars. This money will go towards... I don't know what it will go towards. I bought a glove. It was cost ten dollars, though. That's all I got. Anything more and you're, you're, you're pushing me. There you go. Fella dead. Oh, another fella in a bad spot. Hmm. Okay. Well, he's jacking that. One, two, three, four, five. This just means... This just means I have to win. Come here. Come here, brother. Yeah, come here. Go ahead, get over there. Go get that- get that bread. Bug. No one's dead. No one's dead. Grab it, it's yours. Psych! Okay. You need to form a busy person pot. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> I put that money towards a an independent busy person translation. That'd be kind of cool. But that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money and time. That's why I never did it. Uh, I never funded it myself to begin with. That's mine, kid. That was scary. Well, that cookie's his now. Yep, that's his. Ah, he can have it. I thought I saw a giant bread bug. No, guess not. Okay, well, let's take care of you because you're a problem waiting to happen. Dead? Let's see. Best way to do this. Enjoy your work day. Thank you again. Seriously. No matter how many times I say it, after a while it'll start to feel disingenuine. But there really is only so much I can say to really drive the point home. Seriously though. Come here, Mr. Jellyfish. Perish. That 
Redbug is really trying to grab that, and he's not succeeding. Good, we're in good. Although, this looks like a blue Pikmin only situation. Let me see. Just because they're gonna walk into the water. Let me just snatch it like this. This should be okay. And this bread bug's got the treasure in him. And he's not moving. I don't get gifties. I, I got I got a gifty like once in a chat that I actually like follow. It's kind of wild actually. Some people are really good at dodging gifties. It's like a special skill. Let's not do that. All right, come here. Yeah, right in the water. Right in the water. There's one. Why get a gifty when you can just pay for your own sub, though? You ever think of that? Any gifters? Don't be that guy. Never be that guy. What? What? Oh, the bomb rock guy. Oh, the bomb rock guy. Oh, the bomb rock guy. I completely forgot about you. He just killed a lot of Pikmin. And there he goes. And there he is. I completely fucking forgot about that guy. He just killed uh, 10 more blue Pikmin. Okay. Hmm. For $10, I'm not going to do anything. However... With the amount of money that uh, Squid has put in, then yes, I, I think he's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that he's earned a game. If he if he has a request, he pretty much paid for it himself. I'm not a sellout or anything, but there really isn't much I can offer for such an act of generosity. So maybe there's something. Unless I really don't want to play it, <laughs> or I already plan to play it. All right. It's about honor. Well, it's nice to give back when people give to you, right? Someone gives me something and it's like, you want to give, give back to them. I feel like they earned it at that point. Although you can't buy VIP. You can't buy VIP. That's against uh, TOS. Uh, what? What the, what the fuck is going on here? Why did that white Pikmin, like, give up? Oh, whatever. He, like, gave up. Did you see that? What if I paid a lot? Well, that's exactly what we're discussing right now. I don't have any subathons or anything like that. Delicious game board. But there are tons of sub, like, subathons that come on that have game incentives and stuff like that, but I've never really done one of those, because that's really large scale, large commitment, and I'm not that big. People that do those subathons are, like, very big, so those things go on for a long time, and they probably produce a pretty large amount of money, all things considered, which is impressive, because you gotta wonder where all that money's coming from. Like, seriously. You guys get this money. I make ten dollars today. That was everything, right? Oh god. I hear Groinky. I don't hear Groink I don't see Groinky, but I hear him. This X not base. Okay, let's see. Suspiciously wealthy chat members. Chat member, singular. Don't be taking credit for other people's wealth. <laughs> this is an awkward spot to find ourselves in, isn't it? There's 
is one problem. Yeah, there we go, there's another problem. Still trying to figure out what purples are required for in here. Oh, there he is. Ew! Ew, what kind of spot is that? Fuck him. He's in a really shitty area. Question. The question is, uh, does he have treasure? I'm just gonna watch that chain reaction. That did not go off. All right. Okay. I don't know how serious he was, but that one streamer I watched funded his house with a subathon. People make some money, man. If you make money and you're a generous person, then you can make a lot of people, uh, you're gonna do a lot with that. But fuck, get over here, jackass. Alright, I don't think the fish has any treasures, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him alone. Wait, I hear, I hear another fish. Please go in there and hit the... There you go. Okay. I see the floppy. I see the floppy. Why do the Pikmin do this? Are they stupid? I'm gonna test the floppy. What's funny about this is that this item in particular actually is in the X Not base. You load up an old Famicom. That's part of Grotus's computer. I remember. If you could punch a rock and make it explode, would you do it? Um, depends. Do I have to get hit by the explosion? Or can I go to a safe distance? This is an important uh, just thing here. I don't want to play Labyrinth of Toho because uh, from what I understand, that game is exceptionally grindy and very party orientated. And that to me sounds like uh, not a great use of my time. Yo, those groins are completely 100% optional. Thank God. Have you ever thought about implosions, chat? Not explosions? What if I exploded from the inside? Alright. Cool floor layout. And thankfully, none of the hard stuff was mandatory. Would I play DMC 2? I've always had an interest in DMC to a certain extent, but never really to play the games. Although DMC 5 is a game I've never seen, but I heard it's really good. Holy mother of floor! Okay, hold on. Come here. A fucking jellyfish. The rock's gone. Come here, jellyfish. Come here. Get down here.
perish. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> that was strange. Okay. I played GOS. I liked GOS up to a certain point. But Labyrinth of Toho, I just don't think I'd like as much. That game seems exceptionally grindy. Oh, don't run away. Hold still, you problem. Yeah. Hold still, you devil. I'm always wary of things flicking Pikmin off because they can go over the walls so easily. DMC is off on stream now is your chance streamer. Well, it's like I've seen Devil May Cry 1 a number of times. I don't have any interest in playing it. I have seen Devil May Cry 2 and I don't have much of an interest in playing it. I have seen Devil May Cry 3 and I don't have much of an interest in playing it. And I have seen uh, Devil May Cry 4. Which actually I don't think exists. Wait, yes it does. That's the one with Nero. Come here, hit this guy. And then DMC, which is the reboot. And then DMC5, I was like kind of curious about. But I don't know enough about the lore. This guy's in a really great spot. There's a whole shit show going on up there and I don't want to have any part of it. Yeah, Lamb of the Tall Lord 2 has a lot of information. A lot of information. I thought GOSV had a lot of shit, and it's got fucking nothing. Wow, oh, they didn't connect. How sad. I'm down here. Come down here. Perish. Okay. I'm just looking for the treasure. I'm just looking for the treasure. Is it up there? I, I, I Man, this floor is fucking massive. Go ahead, blow. Blow me, bitch. Amazing. Alright, come along. I'm not even really sure how to approach the situation. Oh, treasure. Oh wait, chat! I know what this is. This is a fucking battle map from uh from Mario Kart. <laughs> That's they're not gonna connect it. Oh my god! They connected? How the fuck you connected? I can't see. I did this layout in Bikman, I think. It's kind of wild. Alright. We're gonna escort this back and figure out what, what's going on. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the battle map. I think it's Blocktown, it's called. Get finessed, idiot. Oh, man. Block Fort, yeah. Yeah, it's Block Fort. It is. It's hard to tell. What if I pause it? Yeah. I'm kinda wild. Whatever, bring the corpses back, who cares? Yeah, no, I, I know Labyrinth of Toilet 3 is coming. I, I can't say I'm very interested. I don't think- I, I'm not gonna say they're bad games, I never played them. They're obviously- they got their following, but I- I do think that there is too much going on in that game for me to be interested in. And those types of RPGs tend to get on my nerves when things don't go my way. Directional tablet. <clears throat> Alright, that was treasure one. Which means we gotta find the second treasure now. 
Hurry up. This is a little bit of a problem. Okay. He can see me. How can he see me and this one can't? you at this much HP? What happened to you? I, I don't know what happened to him. I think it's buried. Uh, oh, that is so nice. I don't have to do any of that nonsense over there. I'll, it'll, I'll be so happy. Come on, get it up. Left 4 Dead 2? I do want to do Left 4 Dead 2 again. Yes, I do. Uh, probably this Thursday. I think, I think this Thursday. Okay. Be ready. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 is already pretty cheap. We haven't done it in a couple weeks because, like, I haven't really brought it up and I don't want to drop it on people like the day before. I'd rather have ample time to prepare so everybody is ready to go. But it'd be fun to play it again, for sure. I want to play it again. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I hope this is the last one because, like I said, this floor is huge. So slow, man. Alright, come on. Show me the empty gauge. 200. Chemical compound. Show me the empty gauge. Oh, god damn it! There's more shit here! I wanna go to the moon. Is this the moon from Mario Kart 7? Or is this just a moon? I actually don't know. Man, chat. If we were to get another Mario Kart, what would its gimmick be? Is it just gonna be called Mario Kart 9? What if they pull another realm and they call it Mortal Kombat uh, MK MK1? It's just Mario Kart revitalized. Okay, where is this fucking treasure? This is the easiest way up, so I'll walk up this way. Mario Kart Black, the gritty reboot. I think I would prefer not that. Hmm. They could do something funky. How funky, though? Track changing, the use of Wonder Flowers. Dude, I hope the Wonder Flower becomes like a staple in Mario design going forward. I really do. Because the Wonder Flower opens so many avenues. Like, I, I think it's possible for Mario Maker 3 to incorporate Wonder Flower stuff. The only thing is, like, there's, there's gonna be a limitation on creativity there, no doubt. That's unavoidable. But a Mario Wonder, like, that's the thing, right? Mario Maker 3, Mario Maker 2 added a 3D world as an option. And Mario Maker 3 can definitely can definitely add wonder flowers. It'll be the new gimmick of the game with other fun, innovative stuff. We love the innovation word. We love it. Pikmin are so smart. Smartest boys. Mario Kart Wonder. Look at this guy using that noggin. What is this hellscape I'm walking into, man? Is that moon treasure? Ah! Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 
I don't know what Pikmin he ate, but, uh... Hmm. Don't do that right there, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, that's genius. I think they'll make it. I think they'll make it. Hmm. Oh. oh, please hurry up before bad things happen. Okay, I thought it was buried treasure. You drop a fucking full bear on me, dude. Uh, he ate five Pikmin. I don't know which Pikmin he ate, but thankfully it wasn't more than five. Oh, all right. Got the Yoshi egg. Hmm. A lot of wonder effects simply done by hiding certain objects and showing hidden ones. Unknown egg. All right, now we're done this fucking board. So, I, I remember uh, hearing that, like, the, the devs said they had a bunch of, like, stuff they cut. They, like, they had so many ideas for the Wonder Flyer, but they couldn't fit it all. So, uh, the game definitely, there's a lot more things that the, they can do with the idea of Wonder Flowers. And it'd be great to see it become a staple Mario power. What the fuck is in there? Wait, it said you need to bring purple Pikmin. I'm, I'm just guessing here that this is the correct answer. What is this? I can't hit him. What is this? What is this? What is this? Pikmin the better. Bro, he's walking up. He's... That's not fair. That's not fair. Motherfucker's walking up the tower. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? What is he doing? Can he kill that thing? I don't think he can. He's hailing so much.
miscalculated. Stop walking up the fucking towers, dude! This is really dumb. This is really dumb. This, this, this does not feel tested. Probably dead now, though. God. <clears throat> that was unfortunate. He uh I made I made some bad plays in there, but it's okay. It's okay. The arena itself is neat, but yeah, the fact that the boss can like walk on top of it is kind of stupid. Kind of really stupid. <laughs> like I I had lost the ability to fight him. This is the worst Mario power up in the entire universe. Fucking metal shroom, dude. Millions dead. That was more like 30. 30 total. Ironclad shroom. Job is done. We're getting out of here. And we're heading to Teddy Temple. The spring mushroom is not fun. It's not a fun power up. It's not my favorite. Not bad, Roger. Not bad. 29. Alright. Let's head right to the next one. We're doing it. Come in. We'll let you jump high. Yeah, and it controls about as fun as... Okay, so who died here? No white Pikmin died. That's great. 13 purple Pikmin died. Okay. No reds died. No yellows died. <laughs> 16 blues died. So only blues fucking died in that whole bull bear fiasco. Give me some goo. Give me some goo. Alright. Yeah. We can make it there in time. Yeah, it's right there. Just need everybody to speed it up. Gonna cross the bridge. Not one purple pick bin. Hurry up. Okay. And then we go around. Okay, it's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, all right. Big bow, tow, ba bow, bow. We're going in. This is the big finale -o. 
We need Spring Mushroom Mario Maker 3. Dude, it would actually be kind of cool if they took a little, like, uh, if they, if they somehow managed to make 3D Mario stuff for Mario Maker. I doubt they would. I... What the? Oh, this is terrible. Okay, the one in the hole clearly needs to die. Oh, get ganked, dumbass. Get ganked. If they take a shot head on, they, they take, like, all their HP. Yo. Absolutely no peril anymore. Streamer just solved the game. Look how fast he did that. All on his own with no Pikmin. It's fucking blowout. Can't do anything. It's just too easy. What's the, what's the gamba this time? You gotta give me more than 20. This is the final dungeon. This is the final boss. You gotta give me more than 20. Too late? No, it's not too late. It's called refund date and doing it over again. <laughs> 20 on the last dungeon. You know what the Titans we was gonna do? It's gonna let you do half my fucking party. Maybe. Alright, we're going back. Alright. The thing is, like, it's not just gonna be the Titan Dweevil. There's gonna be shit going on. I don't think any of its attributes are gonna change. Like, 251, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Cheating? I'm not cheating. I'm trying to make it so it's not as stupid. I haven't... Have I really let down the masses? Have I really let you down? Most of my Pikmin deaths come from the bosses. Alright, can we, uh... Can we finally kill those things now? Well done, my glorious, glorious Pikmin. You know what? I'm, I'm upset about that. And the Pred, the Pred is, uh... We're gonna reset. Not because I need to, but because the prediction just went up and we're not gonna count those Pikmin. We're gonna keep it fresh. So we're gonna put myself back up to 100, okay? <clears throat> that wouldn't have been a problem if not for the fact that that fire geyser stayed alive with one HP and then every Pikmin ran into it and then didn't actually attack it. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a quick, uh, just a quick reset for the prediction. See, now we're good. Now we're good. Different layout, new problems. Bro. You done? Oh, you're not done. Get up, damn it. Okay, there we go. It's alright, it's alright. Just There's only two red picks. But grand reset. Those those don't count. We we re we also the timeline. Oh, I see a box. Let me go get it. That is a familiar looking chest. Just female ones. Okay. Yeah, that kind of worked actually. Frog can't see me right here, so that's okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Trouble bug is gone. Oh, 
You know, Pikmin 1, when they actually grabbed a Pikmin, you couldn't do damage to them in their attack animation. You, you couldn't do any damage to them, so they grabbed a Pikmin, they were dead. Oh, man. And you can't crush them, though. Alright. Uh, the easiest way through this, I think, is just doing this. Let me see. Okay. So what, what's the Freddy at? What's the Freddy this time? Is it 30 Pikmin? Of course, that takes 20. Oh, he missed. We're gonna need some Pikmin help, which means we're just gonna need to clear up the hazards. That's all. It's 35 plus. Okay. These guys have some severe fling back in uh, the first game. Okay. a little bit of danger posed by this one. But better safe than sorry. Alright. What? What are you doing? Come along, team. We got shit we gotta do. Hmm. Okay. Time to roll. Hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't made anything in a while, though. It's not like I don't have an idea, I've just been hyper-focused on, uh, hyper-focused on art. Some more things I gotta do. Yesterday I drew, uh, I drew a bunch of Bulbasaurs. And I drew more Bulbasaurs. I need to actually, like, practice some specific stuff, but I haven't done that. But I am, I am at least still doing things. I'm just not really sure. I, I, my, my practice feels a little mindless, I guess. I would really like to practice more, like, anatomy stuff, but, like, I'm still kind of stuck in the simple stuff. Like, how to fuck do I make a box for some? I still gotta, I gotta, there are things I have to solve. But I, I took a step back from it for a little bit because I'm focused on line. Lines, which is still, like, kind of crusty, in my opinion. I think my lines are still kind of crusty. But I am doing practice for them, so hopefully they will improve. It's such an important aspect. It really sucks when it's not looking good. Okay. My past cubes. I don't really know what to do with cubes. It's a big problem right now. I just don't really know what to do with them. I can I can kind of draw them, but I don't know how to actually implement them in a work. So like, what's the point? That's kind of where I stand on that. Okay, there's nothing over here. Nothing over here. Well then where? Wait, why is there? Oh shit! It's like right here. That's blue Pikmin. That's still a blue Pikmin. If I knew how to use cubes to guide perspective, I would use them more, but I don't really know how to do that. Oh, there we go. Ah, the gyro blocks. This is not a fucking bull bear. Okay. See, the thing is, the bul Bulbasaur just started because I, I had a stupid idea for the cabbage meme. For Bulbasaur, and it's like, I'm drawing Ruma every day, and I figure I'll just incorporate Bulbasaur as well. So now Bulbasaur is there too. So now Ruma, Ruma has a Bulbasaur. They are friends. And the more I draw Bulbasaur, the better I get at drawing Bulbasaur. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that exactly, but yeah, that's um... It's something that I'm working on. Like the Windmaker's small chest? I actually don't know what that chest is from, but I feel like I've seen it before. Maybe Wario World?
Dude, war is hell. Dude, war is hell! He got that knockdown last second. Alright, that's one dead. Chad, why are you panicking? Have I given you any reason to panic? Also, chat, this music is uh, Relic Castle, right? From Black and White. They don't even know why they're panicking. They just do it because they see someone else do it. I actually got positioned by the, the sheer grub. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's maybe solve this problem right here. Okay. There we go. No way you just got snatched. That's bullshit. Dude, that's so bullshit. He got snatched, get it out of his mouth. Why are you still following me? Alright, get him. Don't do that. I lost one Pikmin to some silly business. Absolute silly business. Certified ha ha he he behavior. Oh, you're the target. You can breathe fire if you want. Oh! Maybe don't breathe fire. Multitasking! Oh. Alright, not bad. One of many? You prepared to put five dollars on that, huh? Actually, I, I don't want to put five dollars on that. I don't trust myself. Okay. Good haul. Good haul. Creative gyro block. That thing's yellow. Alright, which direction would you like to go, team? It's a trick question, you don't get to decide. Break that. You never know when an electrical has it's gonna be a problem. Okay, there's nothing in there. He's avoidable. Not again. No. Oh. Dude! That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Ha two of them got flung out of a wall. Is there ever gonna be a legitimate death? Is everything everything I die to is is stupid. It's stupid and dumb. And it shouldn't happen. That was a yellow and a purple. Okay. Always a fucking blue Pikmin, man. 
I got a death wish. I want to die. That is definitely too close. Yep. It's all bullshit, man. When was the last time I lost a Pikmin to some legitimate misplay? I got a bull bear dropped on me. You know what? Those 10 that exploded at the base, that was my fault. I forgot about that guy. I'll take full responsibility for those 10. But every other Pikmin death has been a fat load of horse poopy. Hey, it's that gem again, but this time it's not purple. with this make sure it's all okay it's all good I'm banking on this being the only thing but there's still stuff over there who knows okay the one you sent directly into the fires were pretty legit what are you talking about that didn't happen that didn't happen stone of dreams that didn't happen dude you're thinking of a different streamer. You're thinking of a different universe. Chat is going schizo mode. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Where is he? Oh. You know what that means, chat? Do you, do you know what that behavior means? It means that's where the bull bear spawns. He's gonna fall from the sky at that spot. That's what that means. <laughs> oh, shit. So bull bears are funny because they they have the most HP of the little ones, but you can loop them like this. There is nothing that you have to do except press the A button in this position. It's not very fast, but it's certainly effective. I can fight a bull bear on my own. I ain't scared of a bull bear. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't scared of you. I knew you were there. Walk over here. Thanks, G. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting bull bears with Pikmin is usually just asking for a death. <laughs> that's, that's why I prefer to fight them like this so Pikmin don't fucking die. You need Pikmin in caves. Hmm. This can happen in vanilla as well, but there are bull bears that fall from the sky because they have treasure in them. They almost always have treasure in them because they're such a difficult enemy to deal with. But yeah, you can tell when one's in the sky if you see dwarf bull bears acting like that in, a, in an area. It's a dead giveaway. It's very helpful as well, because that way you can actually tell. There's so many of them over there, though. Okay. It's just sometimes, like, because the radar goes off, you can't tell if it's buried treasure or not. And that's the biggest issue. So earlier, when I walked over a radar pinging, I, was, I thought it was buried treasure because I had found buried treasure 
earlier in that same situation, and a bull bear fell on my head. <laughs> I was like, oh. Nice, quick, easy floor. That floor could have been a lot worse if the bull bear was set roaming right at the start, but because I had the I had the ability to take it, uh, you know, preparations, I could easily solo it. Oh, this is big. Oh, it's the Emperor's Bull Black's room from Frontier Cavern, but in reverse. Wow, 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 wow. We're in the water element stage now. Okay, yeah, so the hole's where the geyser is, and that's probably where the treasure is. I mean, you gotta climb through jellyfish hell to get it. Oh my god, dude. Alright. Let's go, team. We gotta do the reverse trip here. Can I be in the jelly spotters now? No. Look, there's frogs, dude. There's just frogs. Ending policy? Yeah, shoot, go for it. Although the only uh, the only thing that actually is relevant to that is just all he asks is that you don't show the endings, which is like not really anything. This is one of those things that's like it's not a hard rule to really respect. And considering the amount of freedom he gives with the IP, it's just something that people tend to do out of respect more than anything. Because it's not like, it's not like if you break the rule, he's gonna come to your house and fucking clock ya. Or anything like that. But it's like, I guess it's the least I, you can do. I do it because it feels like, like I said, it feels like I should. But there's so much he allows you to do. Alright, let's get the blue pick button ready. There are other, like, at, like rules, of course. There are there are other rules, but that's like kind of the main one that would ever come up. But like I said, people still do it. People do it. He's not gonna come to your house and like assault you, but it's just one of those things that I think it's if you want to be professional about it, you should just respect the rule. And it's not like it's a hard thing to do, just cover the ending. I've shown screenshots of my end of endings in videos, though. So, like, it's not a huge deal. Hmm. Now, specifically what the- what it means, it's as simple as this. Uh, when you get the ending at the end of stage six, the- the- the story bit between that and the credits just don't show it. So people can't see it, but like all of it's on the wiki that you can find out everything that happens in the end It's pretty easily. It's not that hard to do But it's just a matter of just cover the screen if you're like playing it so you don't see the ending So people have to play it for themselves to experience it, which It's a really old rule. I feel like at this point he wouldn't care that much honestly because, like, he's well aware that a majority of people that are into Toho are not very good at the games or don't play them at all. So the odds of them actually, like, seeing the game's endings is low. So I assume he doesn't he doesn't particularly hold fast to that rule. And obviously he knows that people, like, he knows that people find out about the endings even if they don't play it. And that's fine. Thoughtful block. I'm blocked. Yeah, there's a difference between ending and staff roll. They're different themes. Right, I can just switch to Olimar. Well, that was a uh, that was a floor. <laughs> that was a floor. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Metroid one. The ghost of Zen will come to your house at 3 a.m. They'll hit you over the head with a beer mug, but like since it's Zun's beer mug, it's not like a traditional beer mug. It's like that one that's comically oversized. He puts you in the beer mug. There's a lot of shit I have to dissect on this floor. Mm. 
Yeah, the chance for stun is extremely low. <laughs> Squishy boy. I'll get the Bloister. He's got the treasure. Very convenient. Easy. Easy. So easy, man. And if that's everything here, then we are moving on. I see the hole. Yeah, well, hold on. That'll be a real fast one. You want to be a sake boog? Well, if you're a sake boog, you can produce infinite sake. It's gotta be. Holy shit, that was it. That was the whole floor. Oh, we are so back. Look at this. Who gives a shit about all the hard work you put on making this floor? I finished it in five seconds. <laughs> I'm out of here. Does Regal have control over sake bugs? Or are they not actually so like bugs? They're just called sake bugs. Ooh, it's getting weird. I hear a groin. I see a groin. I'm shocked that no one died there. Groink's over there. I just gotta get him in an easy position to work off of. Okay. Okay. Aren't they more slugs? I don't know, man. I think there are two Groinks on this floor. Is this Castlevania music? This sounds like Castlevania music. Okay. It's right next to the ship. This is perfect. I'm 90% sure there's another Groik now. Yep. There sure is. to say it. Just gotta take this real careful. Real careful. Okay. No, they won't walk off the edge. They they can technically, but the groins chase you, so there's not really a situation where they'll actually walk over the edge to grab you. The weevils will do that, though, because they actively run away from you. Okay. Alright, let's see what's going on up here. The problems have been taken care of. Now I just have to navigate the rest of the floor. Okay. Chat, the Groink wasn't in 
What's the coin again? Pikmin 4? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. I feel like it was. It wasn't? Really? Okay. I see the treasure, by the way. Okay, I see the treasure. It's a straight shot through here. crazy because they brought like every fucking enemy back in that one that's bullshit what's the plan here Gotcha, bitch. Hold on, chat. Bug. Bug situation. Not a Pikmin. Not a Pikmin. Doesn't count. Okay. got up and I realized I had to pee anyway. Okay. Okay. No, chat, uh... It's nice out today. It's like, spring is actually coming, which is great. It'd be nice to go do walks. Ooh, I bet the white pigment will be perfect for this. Let me see. Let me finesse past these boys. Grab the star rod. Oh, speedy boys. Yeah, look at them go. They're so fast. Now, the weather's been great. Like, it's still cold out, but overall, it's just super nice. The fact that the sun is still out and it's five to seven is pretty, uh, pretty great. So yeah, it'd be nice to kind of try to turn cardio stuff into out having fun outside. Let's see how well that goes. Cardio in the gym is still fine though, but there's a uh, there's something about just being outside in the real world that you you can't quite get that same effect from being on like a bike in a gym, you know. All right. I'm hungry. Oh, chat, you know what? Wait, what? Wait, what? There's no walls. Uh, how do I fight this? I don't know how to fight this in this. Can you. Can you outrun his gun? <laughs> Ch 
Chat. I don't know how to fight this thing without a wall to protect me. Oh god. There's one thing I could think of. He's gonna kill everything. How none of those hit. I I love how none of those hit. Full fucking 360 Tony Hawk style. The purple Pikmin are going to have extreme trauma after today if they survive this. I gotta start throwing reds. The purples can't make this fucking jump. Boom, basa boom, basa boom. You know what's funny? He's targeting the purple Pikmin. So he can't hit anything but them, but he's not hitting them. We're safe. Explosions count like doesn't his gun count as explosions? How come he he came back? He came back in Pikmin 4 Critical Not going for the greed. Not going for the greed. I will do another loop of this. <laughs> no greed. No greed. No greed. Okay. Wow, he was so close to death. Alright. No one died. I got Rob's head. Walls, no problem, I guess. Uh, see, I was worried because I swear to God, the, the one, the one that you fight in uh in the Hole of Heroes has like a blast radius on them, so they kill everything. R robot. 
So that's why I learned the wall strategy, because that thing would just gun everyone down. I guess it doesn't have that, but I swear that one does. Alright, where to now, pal? Are we getting- are we doing a boss gauntlet? Up to the final one? This is the actual arena from Subterranean Complex. Shiny. Pretty good. And if I'm lucky, that was it. And we can leave this floor immediately with no trouble. Beautiful, isn't it? Astral artifact. That was actually it. Just, I'm just being cautious. Being cautious, that's all. Quick one. Remember, five treasures are dedicated to the boss floor because of the nature of this cave. I don't know, I've not been keeping count, but the fact that there's like one treasure per floor means we will have sub levels. Oh no, it's asinine. Let's place baby mode. for ya! <laughs> I'm coming for you, buddy! Just hang in there. <laughs> yeah, get him again. Finessing the shit out of me. How did you miss that? Where are you aiming? Bro! Hit me! Bomb rock down, dude. There you go. Now you're dead. There you go. Okay. Hold on, just for my own peace of mind. Those gonna die. Okay. I'm gonna go get that guy. I'm gonna get him. He's okay right now. He's hanging in there. He's a fucking champion. What the hell are you guys doing?
I don't really want these to do anything. Let's get out of here, bro. We gotta get out of here. Shit's crazy. All right, we got him. Counts as stabbing Pikmin for it. You know, that kind of makes sense. Getting shot by a bullet after all. Get this guy. He's dead. Those guys don't matter. Honestly, I think it's probably best if I leave one captain on a because the the the, the the whatever the fuck they're called don't matter. They're not. They're irrelevant. They're only gonna try and grab Olimar. They're not actually an enemy. The only danger is if they grab me here, and all the Pikmin are like, What's this thing? Let's go beat it up and get electrocuted. Okay. Alright, looks good so far. A gun would do nothing to a rock Pikmin. Oh. Yeah, because a rock Pikmin can't get stabbed. Huh. Now, isn't that stupid? Rock Pikmin immune to gun. The evolution of weaponry. This thing formed like as a symbiote with technology to get a gun. This fucking rock loses to rock. A little worried about this. Yeah, these guys only, they don't do anything to Pikmin. They don't care about Pikmin. Home for a ride, baby. Alright. Hmm. Paper beats gun, meaning the pen is mightier than the sword. How does paper beat gun? Oh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, gun. Rock Pikmin are so stupid. Just rocks, man. Alright. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Although it was like the farthest road it had to be traveled. Starlit capsule. That's clearly a moon. Alright. Good job, team. Good job. If you hold a piece of paper up to an oncoming brick, does it just, like, reflect? It's like a trampoline. Hmm. This is Mr. Dungeon Music. Ooh. I don't think I've seen any liquid. Okay. I don't like the implications here, but I'm gonna get yellow Pikmin refreshed anyway, so... Gotta be a little careful, yellow Pikmin. Okay. Come on out, boys. All right, back up to 100. Numbers replenished. We're going in. A remake of Time, Darkness, and Sky would be neat, but I didn't really care to play the Red and Blue remakes. So it wouldn't do much for me, I don't think. I like that series, but I think my time with it has kind of... Oh my god, 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 oh my god.
It's safe in here. I'm gonna jump him. I see a time gear over there. There's a time gear over there as treasure. That's cool. Fits the fits the mood for sure. Okay. There's also the clock piece behind it. I'm just worried because there's a lot of shit in the way. Alright. Let's get to work. No need to lose Pikmin when I can simply not. There's one. It's interesting, these enemies don't even have like shake off effects. Oh, we get a bomb rock thrower though. Oh, hold the fuck on. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! Where'd that stitch bug come from? Hmm. Billions must die. <laughs> it's too easy. Hmm. Another one. It's just introducing chaos. Come here. You come here too. Ooh. Over here. Baba Booey. All right, we no longer have an issue. I've decided we have an issue. Right in the face. This guy right in the face. Come on, right? The, come on, come on, come on, get him. Yeah, one more. One more, just like that. Okay, let's see. Do it again, jackass. Um. Hmm. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> There's no other way in that room. You have revealed yourself, so now you will perish. Okay, the only thing that worries me a little bit <clears throat> is the orange bowl board. Cleared up. Now it's just you. Stun him. Yeah. Okay. 
No, fucker! <laughs> Come here. You're not even a hard enemy to kill, you're just annoying. Okay. Oopsie. Alright. Get some of this treasure moving, will ya? Okay. Thank you, Ace, for the resub. The game is being played right now. Just a little afraid. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Find something else. Sorry, right, there's only a few of them on it, so if anything silly happens, I can run over there and deal with it immediately. I can see them. Hmm. Man, that bomb rock guy did so much work. Temporal time piece. If this is the last item, this is great. It means I can dodge the majority of the problems here. I love how you guys just... I love how Pikmin think. I really do. I am ecstatic. Their behavior is always a joy to watch, witness, and behold. Ah, uh, he thinks he sees us. Okay. There is a Bull Blacks over there, and usually fiery Bull Blacks just have stuff. There's a whole segment over there I'm not touching. And if I'm lucky, I don't have to. Let's see what happens. Look at this gear. It's a nice gear. Temporal mechanism. Oh, there's more. We're not done. We're not done. Guess we're going over there after all, huh? Oh, what's the method of attack here? Take it. Okay, all right. He's in water. He's in water. He's a little annoying to deal with. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Thinking about it. 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 Let me see what I can do with this. As far as I can tell, nothing over there matters, but you are always a liability. So you need to die. Perish. Foul creature. I'm not risking it. I've played enough Pikmin to know what happens if I try something like that. Let's just. Let's just play it smart. Just take that out. No issue. Okay. Alright, so it is probably in the fiery guy. Which means solo mission time. Yep. Oh. 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 Okay. Or a bull bear falls on my head. No bull bear? Now this is great.
This crate. Let me down, please. Let me down. I only have 15 red Pikmin with me. <laughs> Fighting that thing with red Pikmin is ill-advised. I'm pretty sure it's buried in the ground near, near it. Not actually in it, but it still needs to die because its proximity is way too close. All right, game time. If it isn't it, then whatever. It doesn't really matter. Prepare for a fight. I like the color of blue on this thing quite a lot. It's nice. Blue fire. Blue fire is super hot. What about purple fire? What about white fire? Is that a thing? Can you have white fire naturally? Look at the side of his arm. You really think Olimar and Louie and the pre- Oh, thanks, dude. You think they're all coming back to Hulkotate? The same man they were when they left? This guy was running away from Lone Sharks. Now he's killed, like, he's, a, he's destroyed an entire ecosystem. <laughs> he's destroyed an entire ecosystem with his bare hands. This motherfucker's battle-hardened. Choice combination of words resulted in that. Die already! Jesus! Ah, the gold coin. Okay. Pick it up. It's the only thing I'm interested in. Pick it up. Okay. How hot does it have to be to make white fire? Okay, no. Hold on, let me change the question. Instead of it being certain things you have to burn, what, like, isn't, isn't, like, color also attributed to temperature? Like, isn't the standard color of fire that we know, the, like, the lowest temperature fire can be? And, like, blue is, like, really hot, and then purple is, then like, super hot? Super hot fire. Another successful floor. Streamer is moving on. Black fire. What the fuck? That's real? How do you make black fire? Can you make it in Minecraft? Just just burn a lot of black food coloring. Oh. Oh, did you see that? We're on the last floor. Oh, you can see him in there. That's kind of gross. Uh-oh. These definitely don't operate the way they're supposed to. Hmm. It's Louie. That rascal managed to hijack Titan Weevil yet again. How is this possible? He traveled his time, space and time to get all the way down here. It appears Titan Weevil is plated in gold now. This will be a tough fight, boys. Oh boy. It's so bright, I can't see. Yo, he's shiny. Oh, he's fast. That's water, isn't it? I can't tell. Oh, wait, no, it's nuclear energy. Okay, that one has to go, because that one's the most dangerous. Dude, the radius on that is huge. That one has to go. Yeah, we gotta get rid of Comedy Bomb.
pumpy. Pumpy's okay. cheap shots you can take when he's attacking based on what he's using, but I need to focus this one down, because this one is definitely the one that covers too much ground, and it knocks captains over, which is a huge problem. Not the flare cannon. We're chilling by his leg. I can't help them. They're too far away. If I run in there, they all get hit. will die. This is taking its sweet ass time. I don't know what happened. What? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> what what Pikmin died exactly? Why did I get electrocuted? We're leaving, we're leaving. It's not even on its like next cycle of attack yet. Bye. Oh my god, dude.
Flare cannon. Uh, three, four, five. I don't really want that one little egg. It turned to one stream. Why did that? What? What? How is that fair? How the fuck is that fair? Killed by nothing. Dude, they're invisible. They're, they're not even loaded. Like the fight broke. I can't see the attacks anymore. You just can't see them. You can't see them. Either they kill me or they don't. by accident. My whistle effect is gone too. I don't know what happened, but there's too much shit in this arena apparently, and now all like the game's effects have disappeared. Can we knock this off already? This makes the fight, uh, certainly interesting, doesn't it? And not in a good way. Dude, the part isn't even smoking yet. Like, did you, did you just give this a thousand HP? Pikmin are dying! What is even going on? Okay. Bro, the fire turned black.
And now the effect is fully gone. Another one bites the dust. What the fuck? This is tragic. This is too risky, I can't see. Fucking finally. Yep, very fair, very fair boss fight you got here. Look at that, the treasures do fall off. Isn't that swell? Where's the ship? Alright. Now I gotta kill Mr. Invisible Electricity. That's great. That's a great hazard. This is the only thing in the game that causes this hazard. Yep, Pikmin are suffering. Sure are. That heads up is going to get you killed. If he does it again, I'm... Camping the shit out of it. Another one dead. I didn't actually want to hit that one. I wanted to hit the, uh... I wanted to hit the electric one. This one was a little off. Don't die. I can't, I can't actually judge the distance of anything properly anymore. Someone, if someone gets affected by an ailment, someone gets affected by an ailment. Okay. Super hot fire. He spit that. is time consuming. Ow. Is that gonna kill me? Ah, it's just gonna kill a lot of them, but that's cool. That's perfectly fair and balanced. Very well designed fight you got here. Hold still. Just stand, just stand still. You're gonna lose more Pikmin running away. Not having a great time with this one. <laughs>
Good. Went right fucking over me. Hit by the invisible fire. Sit here and watch for ten seconds. Pray I don't randomly die. Okay. It's on its second phase, which is a good sign. You'll live. Okay, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't. So boring. Smack the shit out of that flamethrower.
Nothing that can't be resolved. Nothing that can't be resolved. How is this thing still kicking? I actually don't know if the HP value has been changed on these parts. I assume it has, but it certainly doesn't make the fight interesting. It just makes it tedious. Gotcha, bitch. easy to hit. Just gotta let him put it down and then do this. Mega. Oh, I got his ass. Ha! Naked bitch! Yeah. Pumpy was too easy to get out of. <clears throat> Baba Booey. Yeah, it's the comedy bomb. Give me shock therapist. If this claw swipe kills my Pikmin, that's just that's just fantastic. But it doesn't really matter. Nuclear reactor. I guess that makes more sense when you think about it. Dude's naked. Now what's funny is that if you come back in here when you take his parts because they're treasures, he doesn't have them back. They stay in your vault. Monster pump. Hydro cannon. Flare cannon. Blast burner. Infernal launcher. Alright. I'm gonna kill you now. You killed so many Pikmin! And you did it! Like a cheating asshole. Killed by invisible nuclear energy. Hey, you can't kill me. You've already lost. Hurry up and turn to bubbles, you piece of shit. Turn to bubbles. Fuck you. Man, that 
looked strange, didn't it? There he is. We rescued Louie. Quick, get him into my cargo hold before he knows our plan. When we return back home, we must be able to put him in use somewhere. But for now, get him, get the treasures, and get out. Pick his ass up. Holy particle effect, man. 217. Paradoxical Enigma. Fuck you, Louie. Hey, fuck you, Luigi! <laughs> it's over! Forty-three died. Mm. Oh, that's fine. Now watch. Play me out with my winning cutscene. You've collected every treasure. Goodbye to the stinky planet. Bye. Why are he laughing like that? Because he's rich. Yeah, I guess he is, isn't he? He's rich, not we. He. Goodbye. These guys never tend to fare well on their own when Olimar leaves, you know? Every time you come back to this planet, there's only five of them in existence. And their onion is not, like, it's buried in the ground. Pikmin 2. Uh, 16. There you go. Zaendo. Good for you, champ. You did it. You got them all. Oh, man. Return to the planet anyway. To do what? Mm, whatever you want, really. Uh. There you go. 15 days. 336 Pikmin lost. 230 in battle. None left behind. 1 to fire. 6 to water. 22 to energy, 61 to explosions, 16 to poison. Wow. Amazing. It's a lot of blood on my hand. 16 hours on the dot. Ba ba booey. Alright. I did it. I'm the winner. I wanna click this. Overgrown Cavern, Crystal Coliseum, Mamuta Grove, Ancient Sewers, Bull Barrel Woods, <laughs> Explosion Factory, Matrix of Hazards, Abyssal, yo. Yo. What the fuck? You got a two player map with the water? I gotta see this. Get the four green gems to get your foe's essence. It's dark as shit in here, dude. 
It's way too dark in here. Well, nobody can fight the water rate. Green essence. I lost a Pikmin. It's okay. Nah, we'll make it. Hang in there, boys. You can do it. Ten? I don't have ten! How did you guys all make it, anyway? Where even is he? Maybe he can't spawn in this layout. No one will see the outcome. Okay. That's cool. Custom two-player maps. Now, there is the challenge mode. Grassy treehouse, cold cavern, familiar toy box, aquatic meditation, red bug invasion. The rules. Now, chat, the question is, do I want to do those? Do I? I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but I'm, I'm after that Twitened Weevil, I'm, I'm pretty content to not. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm okay to not, you know? There's probably a lot of stuff in there that's cool to look at, for sure, but how much of it is different from the main game? May yeah, maybe. I guess I wouldn't say no, but no, definitely not right now. The Titan Weevil fight was, uh, well, to be blunt, it was kind of bad. I don't even know if that graphics issue was, like, the dev's fault, or that just kind of happened to me. But that was, uh, not a very fun fight and we will fight so I'm glad it's over but I was Pikmin 216 it was great it was great I enjoyed it a lot but there was you know there's the Piclopedia stuff yeah I'll check that out if I come back to the game but it's been almost three hours of this pluck Gary. Fight. Line up. I'm just learning how to play the game real quick. Destroy. <laughs> Kill. I now know how to play Pikmin. All right. Now, but I'm done for now. Uh, those two caves were pretty rough, and uh, the boss fights themselves were like they were fine to, for the most part, but there were aspects to the uh, arena that kind of made it not good. The fact that the the big long leg dude could uh, walk up that that slope was very strange, and then the tightened weevils effects disappearing was really bad and it made the fight like kind of just difficult to manage because i couldn't see what was going on i just had to hope that things went my way and they kind of did all things considered but yeah overall though i had a lot of fun with it and i enjoyed playing it a lot 